Hi guys, this is a quick video in response to the Gmail problem I had on the Surface RT, which has now been fixed thanks to you guys who uh, told me how to get uh, your Google account to work on applications that aren't necessarily compatible with the way sometimes Google uses its verification and password protection. So what you need to do is, if you ever get this problem with trying to connect your Google accounts to any uh, pieces of software or applications on the Surface RT, you need to log into your Google account and then choose the security option. And then, if you just scroll down, and you will have an option here, which is about connecting applications and sites. And press manage access here. Now, once you've logged into the uh, security access and you scroll down to the bottom of the screen, you have this application specific passwords thing that you can set up. And this is where it generates a temporary password for you to use in order to log it into an application that doesn't quite understand the Google um, usual method of sorting out a problem. So I'm going to quickly generate one, and if I just call it test for now, and then if I um, just take down the keyboard, and then if I press the generate password, what that's going to do is generate a temporary password which I then use instead of my normal Google password to connect the application and the Google account together. Um, now obviously I'm going to revoke this one uh, in this example uh, because I don't want it uh, obviously working because I don't need it to work um, but as if you can see here right down at the bottom uh, let me just focus in here I successfully managed to do it with a Surface RT email uh, by using one of these generated passwords. So now if I come straight back out and then we're now back on the home screen and if I go to mail you can now see that I have my Gmail account connected up to the native uh, email application on the Surface RT. And it, it, once again, it's all thanks to you guys, so thank you very much for helping me, and if you are help, able to help me in any further things, I'll definitely do videos on them to help everybody uh, who may be having problems with these issues. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you again soon in another Surface RT video.